quit playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. I'm fighting for my life. Yeah, man, a lot of people are fighting for their lives out here. It was Diddy. We've been covering him for a long time, but to our surprise, or some to some people's surprise, it was Lil Durk who got arrested last week. From winning a Grammy to putting together a revenge plot to now an indictment that has shocked the world, the hip-hop world to be exact. Lil Durk, one of Chicago's most prominent artists, has been arrested for his alleged role in a removal for hire. Removal, we're not using the right word. You guys know what I mean. It's a scheme. It was a scheme against Quando Rondo. Well, Quando deleted a close associate to Lil Durk. So, RJ. Yeah, it's the removal of eight pounds from the body. It's the removal of the soul from the body. Guys, thanks for tuning in. As you guys know, we are always happy to have you here, happy to host. Uh, before we continue, remember to rate the show by pressing the like button. Follow us on our other socials. Don't forget to subscribe either. Guys, we're going to go through it, uh, through the show. We have uh, two main topics and also a Reddit segment in the middle. Remember, guys, comment because we will be highlighting the best comment in a future show, the hottest comment or the wildest comment, because sometimes, KR, let's be honest, some of the comments, I hope when, when I read them, I hope they're bots, man, because these people can be walking amongst us, man. I'm just saying it's 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 crazy. So we will be highlighting uh, the hot takes or the wildest comments in a future show. So remember to comment, engage. And with that being said, KR, we can start with the first story of today. Yes, the first story will be Lil Durk, as we said. Lil Durk has been arrested in Florida over a conspiracy charge. This story begins with a tragic altercation that took place in 2020 where King Vaughn was deleted. Since then, Quando Rondo has had multiple situations that almost cost his life. He's still around. People have been questioning Lil Durk. When will he slide? Will he slide? Slide this, slide that. Well, I guess he slid. Well, he slid, and now he's caught up in the web of Well, he allegedly justice. slid, right? Because we don't know for sure. Well, if you read the indictment, if he didn't slid, it was his people who slid. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at uh, this uh, video real quick. Fair use. And rapper Little Dirk has been arrested and charged with stop, a murder stop, for stop. hire plot. The Chicago native who's real. Uh, you just share the screen again. Because I just want to point something out. What are the first three letters of his name? Lil. Okay. Start start the video again. I'm gonna ask you to stop immediately after. Just fair use. And rapper Little Dirk has oh. been arrested and charged. <laughs> who I are didn't we even kidding, notice KR? that one. Kr, well, who are we kidding? Well, he. This is a professional. You this think not a rap you, hippity hop. You think that if the if he wasn't on on let's say if the cameras are turned off he'd still stay a little oh man why come on man come on man he's come trying on, man. to be professional no, let man. the black man be professional you, got, you gotta what, stay what? uh you got you gotta keep it real man you gotta keep it real uh, that's well, uh that's, that's, what that's how that keeping it real got little dirk where he is now yeah yeah, yeah. okay that's uh continue. <laughs> yeah let, let's start it again i just wanted to point it out because I, I know he knows how to first of all he knows how to oh. read because it says lil that's that like, even i mean it's not even slang if his name is lil he knows how to read so he should be guys let me know he should be able to say lil there was no reason for him so he has an out he can just read lil he's black he knows that it's lil he had no reason to read little, because that would mean that he can't read. And if he can't read, then he shouldn't be 
uh, on uh, national TV. But okay, that's that's uh, just wanted to make that point. Two minutes into the show, he's already ranting, man. Come on. <laughs> this is crazy. And rapper Little Dirk has been arrested and charged with a murder for hire plot. The Chicago native, whose real name is Dirk Banks, was arrested in Florida by the U.S. Marshal Service. The 32 year old's arrest comes as five other people in Chicago were arrested in connection with the investigation. According to the complaint, Banks and his co conspirators allegedly worked together to, quote, track, stalk, and attempt to murder a target at a Los Angeles gas station, firing at least 18 rounds into the person's vehicle, striking and killing a passenger in the car. Banks made his first court appearance this afternoon in Miami. Banks' lawyer asked for privacy after leaving court, telling ABC, quote, we will not be commenting at this time. I want to bring in. Yep. So the story goes, and I'm going to, we, we frequent this guy a lot, lawyers for workers. He always breaks down these these cases pretty well. So that's why I like to point him out because he explains in layman's terms what this is about. Yeah. So let's take a look. By the way, you want to say something be, be, uh, about the first part? No, no, we can continue. Uh, so, well, let me just ask you this just to be clear. Maybe the lawyer is going to explain this as well. But just to be clear, so there was this ambush in LA. LA. Where, so they're, they're not naming names, but I believe it was Quando Rondo and his cousin, right? Is that is that yes. the same? And yes. the cousin was on a live. Yeah. And is, is yeah. he being linked to that incident? To that incident, yes. To that incident. Okay, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Let's uh, want to know how okay. he's been linked. Maybe, maybe he'll break it down. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I'll, 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 I'll add it. Yeah, yeah. I know. Okay. I know a thing or two about this case. A little dirt okay. being indicted. Let's get into the facts. There is an indictment out in California. It's federal. It includes a charge: murder for hire. Murder for hire resulting in death is punishable by life in prison. Now, in the indictment out in California, there are five people named. None of those people is Little Dirk. There is, however, in that indictment, a mention to other conspirators. Those people could be named. They have not been named yet. What do the feds say about this conspiracy? They take you back to 2020 and the murder of King Vaughn. Then they say that after Vaughn was murdered, a high-ranking member of OTF let it be known that there was a bounty on the head of, indiv of an individual involved in that King Von murder. That's believed to be Quando Rondo. So reading between the lines of the indictment, the feds are saying that Dirk put money on Rondo's head. Then the feds say that two years later, five people from Chicago with some other conspirators traveled to LA, attempted to murder Quando Rondo, hit somebody else who was standing right next to Quando's car. The feds have a lot of evidence. They've got plane tickets. They say the plane tickets were purchased using an OTF associated credit card. They say the gun was supplied by an OTF associate. They have five people in custody. They're probably going to get some more. And then they're going to start squeezing on people and say, hey, have you seen this man? Does he run this crew? Did he provide some money to you? It's about Little Dirk. Now, he's saying Little Dirk. About the indictment. Again? I said he's, he also, he's also saying Little Dirk. But they uh, can get the benefit of the doubt. Ah, man, what are you doing here? This guy, this guy, come on, man. Listen, I know, he, on, know I know he knows how to pronounce it, but uh, this is anyway. Let's let's continue. So, so let's no, okay. Let me just say no. Let me just say that I don't want to continue. Wait, I can understand why he's saying it. He's a lawyer, right? He's an attorney, and so as the attorney, you want to. You, there's a there's a way that you talk. But my point is this. Maybe you're right, KR. Maybe I shouldn't give him a pass. His name is L-I-L -L Dirk. So there's no reason he's giving you a pass. What you're trying to say is they 50. need to put respect on his name. That's what you're trying respect. to say. Yeah. Because, like, look, 50 cent. It's a 50 in numbers and mm -hmm. then cent. So I can imagine why someone wouldn't say 50. I can imagine that someone would read it as 50. But if it says L-I-L, -L, there's no reason for you to say little. I don't know why this is this is important for me to keep stressing. 
but I do find it important. <laughs> it seems to be something very important for you. It's the I don't name. Know why it's either. in the name. I don't like I don't people mis- either, but it's your thing, I guess. I don't, don't like co- people mispronouncing don't names. Anyone who's little, little around RJ because he's gonna flip out. He's gonna start yeah. ranting. Maybe start punching you in the face as well. Keep yeah. quiet. So just say. Read or what write it, says. it if you want it to be pronounced as little, write it as such. This is what I'm saying. But if if you go out of your way to remove r- letters, then you know how pissed off I would be if someone just says if 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 I remove letters and people will stay s- still say little. But anyway, KR, I don't want to waste more time. Come on, let's continue with this. <laughs> let's continue. This guy, this guy. In California, this is a murder for hire plot. And what's very interesting is they've picked up, arrested who they believe are the shooters. They've identified, they have video of the shooting and they've identified the individuals they say are the shooters. And in their indictment, they refer to co-conspirators who have not been named. And that's who they're really after, if you ask me, because you read that indictment and it says that a bounty was put up, that these guys went out, they took the shot. They attempted the bounty. They killed somebody. They went to collect on the bounty. And the indictment says the bounty was paid. And what does that tell you, RJ? That a bounty was paid? In the indictment, it says that the bounty was paid. What does that tell you? Well, either they did it through a bank transfer <laughs> or, or or he got a receipt <laughs> or hey. someone but fair bounty, use. And this has nothing to do with the case, but, but this is something this is so, this is how it goes down in the and this is how it goes down in the interrogation room. This is not, this is a, a separate, this has nothing to separate, do with OTF. Yeah. You die! Like, you would die for snitching out here, people die for that! We don't talk about people getting bought and killed for snitching! We're talking about life sentences here. Right. And this is like, really sorry. Just listen. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Ty's kid all three of. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about it. You would die! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how it went down. How the heck does the police know that the bounty was paid? Unless, well, well if you, yeah, it's it was either, like you it's said, a, a transaction, transaction, which I doubt because in the streets you don't pay with your, uh, you you don't transfer the money to, to to the other guy's account because, well, that's a thrill. Fruity well, Tupac were stupid paid with a check. Who? I said Fruity Tupac paid with a check. Fruity Tupac. Fruity Tupac. Guys, if you don't know who he's referring to, he's referring to Kamala's cousin. According to Judge Joe Brown. For those who don't know. Are you serious? Wow, they don't know that. According to Judge Joe Brown, that's Kamala's cousin. Put respect on his name. Josie Smollett, he paid her with a check. Now he's gonna do the the lawyer thing. He's gonna he's gonna search if it if it's true. Yeah, what because I'm yeah, because he he yeah, but that's what he called himself, right? So he yeah, what seems to have happened to to Josie? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Who are you talking about? Yeah. Fruity Tupac. It, 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 I had to think about it for a second, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But for those of you who don't know, we're talking about like Kier said, Jesse Smollett, uh, who was Smollett. well, he paid someone. He's played. He paid two people to in Chicago. Be to, specific to Nigerians. To Nigeria, Kier, stop it, stop it. <laughs> he paid two Nigerian now, men. Now I need to stop. You 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 talk about Lil. <laughs> You rant about Lil, and I want to be specific who did it, and now you you want me to stop. You you're want right, me to lie right, in front right. of the camera. Okay, yeah, you're right. When you're right, you're right. <laughs> hey, yeah, they didn't know that there was... Uh, okay, but yeah, so what, what he did was uh, two Nigerian men 
He paid to the Nigerian man to pretend to mug him and then uh, told people that it was a guy in a, a white guy with a MAGA hat who did it. And like a week later, he was on stage saying he's the gay Tupac. Yeah. And so, and after that, all his, all the truth came out and then just, just, uh, he was just exposed for being a attention seeking uh, scam. But, uh, yeah, he's still walking out here with us, but going back to, to yeah. the original. Yeah, I don't think I don't think so. That like you said, there's only three ways they've done it. Maybe by check, maybe by tra transfer, wire transfer, or someone received it in cash and told the police they received it in cash. So it means that maybe someone's already talking. One thing you see is that in this case, it seems that they have a lot of um wire transfer evidence for example the car they rented in la was through like i said the otf card affiliated that was used by co-conspirator co three lil dirk his dad and his former, or oh, it still is, I don't know if it still is, but the manager at the time. There is also the rental of a home in LA. It's also paid through that. The flights to LA. Apparently, Lil Dirk was in LA when it happened. He flew to LA for a podcast. With one of the guys that are uh, is there, has been arrested as as one of the perpetrators of the of the deletion. So this is a, there's a lot of trails out there. The question yes. is, can they link this directly to Burke or they, they will they is, will it be in the air who actually orchestrated it? In order to do that, someone has to tell. Someone has to tell that. They saw the person hand over the money to whoever did the job. But yeah, RJ. Yeah. Um, I'm very... So first and foremost, this is something that people warned Little Dirk about. Yeah. And yeah, okay. I find it extremely sad when I hear these stories, but I'm not surprised. Because I believe there is a reason why what's considered black music, what's being pushed forward as black music, is usually low frequency music. Right? It's all about yeah. what is pink and what is brown. So women th talking about what <laughs> what's pink and what's brown or sliding. I'm going to take your 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 woman, your your nice lady. Your itch bay is mine. It's like it's that level. It's a very low frequency level and that's what's being pushed into the community into the world actually because this is spreading all over the world so much so that in countries like uh uh so so um asian countries europeans and, and europe as to less to a lesser extent people are just using the n-word because it's a term of endearment and they vibe with the music so that's what's being promoted i find it extremely i was joking well i wasn't really joking about the dude that was saying little instead of lil but i can understand why he does it he's on a platform he doesn't want to lose his job. Maybe he's afraid that if he pronounces it correctly, they would associate him 
with the gang life. Now, I find it extremely sad when we go out, when we hear people talking about who oh, are you going to vote for. This person is pro pro uh, is pro white pro black. Oh, don't support this organization. Pro white pro black. When a cop cop does something, oh, there's hate. There's hate. Look at what we black people in general do to ourselves. We do yeah, this sad. to ourselves. It's sad. It's sad. And the, the crazy part is, and and to. To, to, and I want to, because you started about talking about when people warned him about it, I'm going to show a video of it. It's even sadder when someone warns you, warns you about it. What will happen? They speak from the heart. Wallow from the Wallow and Gilly show had a podcast where, where they warned him about this situation. What is going to happen if he did what they think he would do? Fair use. But keep going, because I'm telling you, man, I I'm, I can name 20, 30 niggas and my homies is dead. I'm here, though. And I'm going to say some shit that, like, this is documented. You know, I got a TED Talk. I forgave my brother's killer. And I'm saying it to say this. Nigga that killed my brother. My, my brother died in my grandma's arms in that fucking house that we grew up in. Nigga shot my brother. He ran to the fucking, he ran to the house. He died in Nanny Hall when she opened the door. So I'm telling you this some real shit, man. If, if I ain't let that shit go, I won't be right here today. I won't be here for my niece and my nephews. Man, Gil won't be doing this. Y'all won't know me. I won't be able to get y'all this game. But I had to leave. I had to let that shit go. And when I let that shit go, nigga, I started to grow. And I started to glow. And now I'm here today. And it was harder than a motherfucker, man. And I'm talking about this my big brother, nigga. I shared the cell with him. I shared the bed with him when we was fucking kids. This little Steve. But I can tell you one thing. Now I'm out here taking care of his daughter, paying for her to go to school, taking care of my nephew, taking care of my mama and my grandmama. Talk to him. Show. Sure. Because I forgave my brother killer, but you know, I understand. I understand what y'all going through. But I love all you young niggas in here. And I mean that shit. I love you niggas, man. And I, and I hope y'all make it out. I hope y'all make it the fuck out, man. Man, he like straight up, so, man. It's so crazy. Yeah, this motherfucker really dropping tears for this shit. Like shit for real. Like I love being around the young niggas because like you don't understand, y'all niggas got so much life. And, and y'all probably don't understand because y'all young, but this system and the way this structure is is so scared of y'all because they saying if these niggas ever turn that, that light cut on in their head, we in trouble because they the most fearless motherfuckers that ever walked the planet Earth. These young black brothers in the ghetto. Don't fear nothing. So when you switch that shit and you do an energy transfer, oh, it's a fuck. It's over. Y'all, nigga, ever wake up? It's over, man. Watch. I'm telling you, niggas gonna wake up. It's gonna happen. And see, for Wallow, right? He always talked to me and he like, cuz you just don't understand how many young niggas I used to see come through that motherfucking jail, man. Young niggas who just had, was just full of life. Just now them niggas in there facing that motherfucking homicide. And now them niggas just be, they be done. Them niggas just all of life done left them niggas, them niggas come from that courtroom, them niggas done got that 111 years them niggas be done cuz you know what I'm saying, so that's why we base our whole platform around the young niggas sad man you're on mute you're on mute yeah it's sad, I said it's sad but you can see that There are, we're talking about, they're young, but they're grown men as well. Yeah. So, and at that point, let's say for me, I know nothing about that life other than what I've read or heard in rap songs. When I... Got a little bit older and they did a little bit more research. I learned that a lot of my favorite rappers who were rapping about it also didn't know anything other than what they read or heard from people they knew. They were just embodying a character, right? 
Yeah. But there's a reason why this music is being pushed in public. Why? So, because think about it. Why would you push? Why would the government allow this type of music to be played? Why do radio stations and 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 now um, um, streaming platforms who are against all forms of isms still allow someone to put music on their platform that's talk um, that that's talking about sliding and 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 unaliving and doing some weird 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 things you have a point it's there. weird you have a point there you have a point there but because if i remember correct they tried to petition to get r kelly's music off the platform of, of multiple platforms yeah why you have these guys who i'm not that i'm not pointing out in this case but king vaughn was known as a known killer but let's let's be real he's he's been even People saying that he's a serial deleter. Yeah. yeah. And his music, no one petitioned ever to remove his mu music off of these platforms. Because there's a reason. And that's that's what Wallow said. You only understand it if you're outside of that life. Or if you can separate your the reality that maybe you've always known because these guys probably have all they've always known this reality right the reality that hey we belong to a we're against b we're not h based so we need to retaliate if something that's their reality that's their code so maybe they don't know any different but there's a reason why this music is being pushed there's a reason why they want you to identify with it, to be about that life. And no, it's not only to counter the Venezuelan mobs in Chicago, but it's also... <laughs> They're taking over, apparently. But it's... Uh, it's but, but hey, it's also... It, they, they keep you... They keep you... Uh, vibing on a low frequency because a lot of a lot of those dudes don't reach the age of 20. I find it very sad. Yeah. They either they they either get their lives taken away physically, so um literally by being unalived or figuratively by getting life in prison. Yeah. That means your child will wake up will grow up because oftentimes they have kids at a young age so the kid will grow up without a father yep. the kid will grow up knowing his father is a is is a convict and all his friends fathers are also convicts yo it's 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 sad it's a cycle the cycle and because it, then they go, of, they get into that and there are a lot of black men doing great things but it's not as cool as being bad and so we push bad music Hey, R. Kelly did a lot of uh, freaky things and, and even illegal things. That's why he's, yeah. he's, he's locked up right he's now. He's locked up now. Yeah. But his songs, his songs are about lust. Let's be honest. Not about love. It's about lust. It's maybe, maybe making songs, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's R. Kelly. Now you want to deplatform him but not the people talking about unaliving people. Unaliving other black men. Yeah. Now we're, and, 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 and we sing to that music, but March, but March, when, when uh, someone of, uh, of another ethnicity unalives you. Meanwhile, the Asians in the black community, well, let me not get it. Let me not get it. Because if they start marching, I'm telling you, all the all oh, these crazy. No, 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 no. all these convenience stores getting getting uh ran up in the hood yeah but we're looking at what other people do to us but what do we do i mean come on 
What do we do to ourselves? And I can imagine the first thing someone's saying. RJ, are you really on us? Are you? Is that really in you? You seem like like beige, beige I'm like, okay. If if, if the uh, DJ play. Envy, if you can accept DJ Envy, Matt Barnes, then maybe I'm I'm one of you, but but maybe only only by by ethnicity, by blood, maybe. Here I'm different. So, <laughs> so if you are as ignorant to ask that question, then let me ask you one thing. I'm not. You're not like me. You are not like me. Who's we? Who's we? We in French. <laughs> we Jamaican and Indian. We black. Yeah, we black. Jamaican and Indian. Well, <laughs> some would say half Indian, half Irish, but uh, according to their own dad, but who knows? Yeah, so guys, let us know what you think about this part of the show. The second part of the show, we will dive a bit deeper into what really happened relating to this arrest because it gets deeper. It's a crazy story, actually, how they caught him. Um, they, they were trailing him, but we will dive more deeper into that. Let us know in the comments what you think about this arrest. Do you agree with RJ relating to how people try to manipulate young men's minds into low frequency activities or or is he talking crazy <laughs> i don't know i mean like you said there are a lot of people that are mentally not here with us yeah I'm, I'm not yeah. sure. Maybe we have to move them from A to B. They need to understand what we're talking about. Some people Maybe. take time to process. Some people take time to process. They need to see the same thing a thousand times before they understand it. Let us know in the comments what you think, man. This is a crazy story. It's a sad story because, of course, I think the, the, the crazy thing is that Waller was pouring out his heart. Yeah. Waller was pouring out his heart, and the guy just said, this man is crying over these young ninjas without empathy at all. Yeah, they don't feel point, anything. Gonna, man. They don't feel yeah, anything. Yeah, they don't so feel they, anything, man. They, yeah. It's crazy. Let us know in the comments, guys, uh, what you think. RJ. Yes, guys. Let us know in the comment what you think. As KR said, we will be highlighting the uh, and i also said at the beginning of the show the wildest comment or the hottest take so if you think you have a hot take please let us know drop it down below also don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates on different stories where we discuss trending topics and try to explore uncommon lessons from commonplace situations so thanks for watching let's keep the conversation going in the comments and kr uh of course we have another part coming up but before that we do the usual Reddit segment, KR. Yes, yes. Before we do the Reddit segment, we always have a comment of the week. And the comment of the week this week is a comment that was posted on a video we dropped the 16th of October. It's the star. It's a clip, actually. It's on a clips channel. We dropped a clip from one of our shows we did about star and the heated exchange between him and jaguar right and during that clip someone basically responded by saying smooth operator let me zoom in a little bit he said you didn't even show the clip of jag and star who wants to hear these two ladies blab for 10 minutes well we responded, he hands out strikes. If you want to check it out, you can go to his channel. The reason why I wanted to highlight this is, yes, we discuss topics. If you don't want to watch us, kick rocks. 
<laughs> well, what do you want me to say? I'm not, and, we're not. So this is the thing, right? We respect other people's platforms. Star is a known, is known to hand out strikes. RJ knows that. Yeah. Yeah. We, we made a clear decision. It was the right decision because we saw what happened afterwards as well. We made a clear decision. We're not going to use the video. We yeah. didn't use it. We didn't get a strike. We talked about the thing. If you yeah. want to watch the video, go to his platform. Yeah. Why would you want to watch his video on our channel? Yeah. But you know what? These losers don't understand either, KR. They don't know how that to run comment, a business. That comments. Yeah, that's, I mean, they can't even spell business. But that comment. I mean, they're probably B-I-Z. Z. Z. <laughs> Biz. N-E-S. <laughs> None of, no, none of your business. Uh, but I'll tell you this, though, Kier. What these people don't understand is that every comment is an engagement. Yeah. YouTube's, YouTube rewards us for all the negative, for all the comments, whether they're positive or negative. So uh, we want to thank you for your support, uh, your unintentional support. <laughs> and yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to waste too, too much time on these, uh, on these people. Right? Yeah, no, there were also some other people that had legit comments. So let's 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 give him also props. Jesse Oglesby said, "No one in the entire music industry will work with Jagger Wright. Why?" That's a good question. That's a good question. Maybe she's not totally here with us. I'm not talking about the channel. We're talking about the world. She's <laughs> from another stratosphere. Yeah. Who knows? Star just mad because he's talking about. Jay Z, all New Yorkers don't like her now. Well, he, he's not a Jay Z fan. He's been a supporter, but it had more to do with, of course, what happened before, because it's clear that she was disrespecting Star. So, hey, man, thanks for your comments. RJ, you want to say something else? Yeah, thank you for your comments. We really appreciate it. Um, and I agree with the, I forgot the name of the first real comment um smooth operator if no one if no one wants to work with you oh you mean jo jesse oglesby yeah yeah that if no one wants to work with you then you're the problem right so <laughs> hey but i have to say that uh, she's been talking talking about a lot of shocking things stars allowing you on your platform all he asked you was a bit of uh, r-e-s-p-e-c-t and <laughs> you showed him that you don't have no m-a-n and e-r-s which is why there was the beef. Hey, just like what you said with with um to the comment, the, the person that that put the first comment. If you don't like it, move on. But if you, if yeah, just move on. It's okay. We we we, we can uh, we'll survive. Yeah, man. That's it for me. Act so guys, like it's us... a white platform. That's what the <laughs> star says. Act like I'm a white. Why do people always call in into a white show and know the manners? And when they call in in a black show, they somehow lose lose sight of everything. Yeah, guys, uh, if you want a chance to be named, in, uh, at least to, if you want to have a chance for your comment to be highlighted in a future show, remember to drop a hot take if you have one. Uh, either on the Double Thought Show channel, which is the main channel, or the Double Thought Clips channel, if you're watching this in a clip as a clip, please uh, do so. And if it's a hot take, if it's the hottest take, then we might uh, highlight it in a future show. Yes, yes, yes. Let's continue with the Reddit story where... RJ always has a story for us to discuss. Let's see what we have this week. RJ. Yes, KR. Uh, KR, are you a forgiving person? Am I a forgiving person? Why do you ask me this question? Okay. Well, this story is about... Uh, <laughs> this story is about... Maybe a I'm woman. not so forgiving. <laughs> let me put my let me put my my hat on real quick. Yeah. So this Reddit story is about a 
man who left his now ex-girlfriend for her best friend and now they're getting married and they they uh, want the ex to be uh, at the wedding but i'll read the story the story is basically written by the ex-girlfriend and it goes as follows so my um so the, the the woman is 25 years of age, the boyfriend, ex-boyfriend is 27, and the best friend is also 20, 27, 25 years of age. Three years ago, Josh, my boyfriend of about one and a half year, broke up with me because he had feelings for Anna, my best friend. We hung out a lot, and they said that they eventually developed feelings for one another. They admitted that Josh had been cheating on me. They made a fool out of me. They made me think that everything was okay when it was really not. If they admitted it at that time, I would have tried to be understanding and tried to support them. But they chose to lie. Mm. So I cut them both off. I focused on school and found a job with a good income. You go, modern woman. Josh and Anna tried to reach out to me at first, telling me that they still wanted me wanted to be friends, but I blocked them. By the way, I said, uh, you go, modern woman, care. Uh, getting... You see what women do when they get cheated on versus guys? We should be better, guys. Women, when they get cheated on, they go uh, to school and get a job with a good income. Guys go to the gym. Hey. Maybe, yeah. And anyway, become millionaires, but okay. Some become now, millionaires. What? I said, go to the gym and some become millionaires. Yeah. Not all. Not even thousands. Now I... Okay, all right. Don't bait me. <laughs> now... <laughs> <laughs> I'm living in a town next to our hometown. I got a wonderful job opportunity, so I moved. But I liked that I was still close enough to visit my parents and other relatives. About a month ago, I heard about their wedding from a common friend. It didn't really bother me anymore, so I just went on with my life. A week ago, I received a message from Anna telling me that she and Josh were getting married and that they would like me to be a part of the wedding party. I replied, congratulations, but no, thank you. I had no feelings for Josh anymore, and I'm even seeing someone else, but I don't want to celebrate the wedding of two people who betrayed me. They were insistent, however. Josh also messaged me via a different number. Some of my friends also tried to convince me to come to the wedding, but I firmly held my ground. Even my mom called me asking if I was going, and when I said no, she sounded disappointed, but she didn't push it. This is all just quite weird to me. Why would you want your ex-girlfriend slash ex-best friend, the girl you cheated on, to be at your wedding party? The day before yesterday, Anna's parents called me, telling me that they missed me and really hope I could go to the wedding. I firmly said that I would not be going. Her mom berated me, saying that I should let bygones be bygones, then I should be, and that I should be happy for her daughter. I asked her if I cheated with Anna's boyfriend and then invited her to the wedding, which she convinced Anna to go. She had no answer to this, and I hung up. That's a reverse uno. This is quite getting out of hand because I'm receiving more than 20 to 30 calls and texts a day from their friends and family about this wedding. Any advice on how to handle this? Also, any insights on why they want me to go to their wedding? I don't think it's normal that they are very insistent. Here. <laughs> Ice cube. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think you you should go. I mean, if you don't feel like it, you shouldn't feel, feel pressured by anyone. First of all, I'm not personally. I'm not a a, a, a pro uh, peer pressure thing. I don't feel pre peer pressure. Never felt it. Maybe because I'm weird. I don't know. 
but uh yeah it, it is it is quite a a a ask if they <laughs> seems like they want to they want to stomp on you it, 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 another another now they want to stomp on you together not separately but uh yeah i mean this is this is this is crazy i i, I don't know why you would actually if if this is the way it went down so your the best friend cheated with your boyfriend and then you invited i i don't think what i don't understand why you would invite if this is how it went down why would you invite someone knowing that you stabbed you both stabbed her in the back unless unless that person is a horrible person which <laughs> which of course she's not going to write about wh- how she was as a girlfriend and as a best friend but uh yeah i don't think i don't think you should go i don't think you should feel any pressure to go um <clears throat> unless you have forgiven them and that's another thing right talk about forgiveness this is the thing sometimes it's so, sometimes you you never get past certain feelings when people double cross you when people try to stab you in the back they always say you have to release you got to forgive for them for yourself sorry not for them but sometimes it's it's sometimes it's a reminder you keep it even though you you just because you forgive you shouldn't forget right um so yeah i think i think she didn't she hasn't forgiven them yet So in that case in that case you should just not go because you're gonna you're gonna drink too much this is how it's gonna w- work out you're gonna drink too much you're gonna get emotional now you start berating them during that um Objection. during that ceremony okay you imagine yeah uh, oh when when they <laughs> yeah yeah so so please don't go if you haven't processed it yet uh it, you, you're going to be an embarrassment to yourself it's gonna it's gonna turn out ugly rj i know i know how people are they can't hold the liquor they they, they they hate the two and then before you know it they they have the 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 the, the, the mic in their hand and they're going crazy so yeah that's my how i think about this unless if she is forgiving them Hey man, you can go take a drink. Eat, bring your boyfriend. Yeah. Tongue kiss in front of them. No, that's you, you know what I you know what I you know <laughs> You know what I think here? I think that it's not I, I I don't think that it's a good idea even if she has forgiven them because The one is not your then the, they're not what's the relationship they're not your friend yeah they're not your friends you they're not in your life anymore they hurt you they hurt you you forgive that's one thing right so you come you you bump into them at the grocery store you greet them a, that's different than let's celebrate the the backstabbing <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> And why would you? You know, it, 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 there's really oh, no added, added value there. Just the there's way no I added see value. It. That is true. That Second is true. of all, you'll be sitting there, and every time that they're together, you, I can imagine how other people, the friends, mm-hmm. and other people, because she does mention in a later added that they're from a small town. You can also derive it from the the way she's talking, right? Mm-hmm. Can you imagine when they start kissing or talking or dancing oh, with each other? People will look, to... will look at her. <laughs> Let's see what what's his uh, did, did she put her name? No, what's no. What's Brenda doing? No, let's let's see, let's see if Brenda starts crying. Yeah. <laughs> you guys get, get the camera, guys. Get the camera. Yeah. This is a this is a YouTube moment right here. 100,000 views. Yeah, so I don't think that's a that's that's a good idea. Now it's different. The situation would be different if they somehow not only forget so she oh, she only forgave her but let's say if they build some kind of relationship later on right so yeah. if yeah. they're at a later point in their lives and maybe through their children they start talking to one another and then you build a different relationship then yes but they don't have it so there's no reason why you have to so also, i've seen it i've seen this before by the way yeah well it's just 
Uh, okay. Well, yeah. No, go ahead. Elaborate. No, no. So, so there was this video on the internet like a year ago of a couple who were marrying each other, and the guy they started telling the story of how they met, and they met the same way this person met. They, this, the, 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 she was dating a friend of his, and then at a certain time she decided, you know what, I don't, I want to date this guy. So she ba he basically met her through his friend. And the but, friend was there. Yo, that looked yeah. yo, that looked crazy. The, 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 the guy was happy for them, but it looked a bit crazy. Because she basically but, yeah, cheated do, on him. Yeah, but I do think that dating, let's say dating is different. And it depends on the age as well. So let's say if we're talking oh, about college. Way, they, they were marrying. So they used to date. She used to date his best friend. And then she cheated on him. And then they stayed together and married. So they were marrying each other. So I wasn't dating. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying if you used to date, so if if a friend of mine now starts dating an ex uh, 15 years ago, 10 years oh, ago. Oh, you're, you're talk, talking about unrelated to my story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so okay. no, well, it's, it's, I don't know the context of your story. That's what I'm saying. So they were together. Maybe, the girl cheated and they stayed together and married. So the cheated with the fr the other friend yeah. broke up long, with the yeah. original guy, and then they hey, they some, married. Yeah, some, the same, uh, it's the same, it's the same situation. What I'm saying, so let's look so, crazy. You know, I get you. We've all had. Re so yeah. I do agree with you. you have a relationship, ten years. Yeah, just you have and just you have like a like a relationship doesn't mean that you're really into the relationship. So. You can be in a relationship with someone out of convenience. And if you lose that person. Happens a eh. lot. Happens what? a lot. Yeah, it happens, happens a lot. Happens a lot. And if it happens, you're like, nah, it's okay. It's still like some kind of, so if there was cheating, it's still betrayal. But hey, which is different than really being in love with someone or being married. So that's, that, that's, that's why I have like a bit of a nuance. Mm. Um, and guys are yeah I mean I can imagine all kinds of scenarios you're on the same basketball team or football team and people start joking oh, about no, it and then no, you no, win a couple no, of no. games no, and then no, you're like no, oh no, man, we no, can do no, it we're no, brothers I'm no, gonna no, forgive no, you no, no, no. this is crazy that's crazy <laughs> and if you have and you have a rotation lined up don't bring your girl to the games, man. Don't bring your girl to the games. The player might snatch your chick. Before you know it, now you're seeing her every Sunday watching you. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Hey, man. The question is, Guys. do you forgive? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know in the comments what you think about this story. Do you think that... The woman is making too much out of this uh, this uh, issue. Uh, should, should she just go to the wedding? Or do you agree with her? Let us know in the comment. Uh, the best comment has a chance to be mentioned in a future show. Um, uh, the top comment says, <laughs> says, tell everyone involved to get effed. Uh, um, OP... Should post on a social media publicly something along the lines of I will not be attending ex's boyfriend and ex best friends. Ex boyfriend? No. Ex best friend and ex boyfriend's wedding. The reason for this is ex boyfriend was actively cheating on me with ex best friend while we were dating. And this is not, not, this is how their loving relationship started. I wish the happy couple all the best, but. Do not wish to be part of this as I have moved on happily with my life and see no good reason for me to be there that as must be I a no woman. longer that have must any be relationship a with them either. Uh, I hope one day they can move on with their lives and stop harassing me too. Oh, what are they doing? What are we doing? What, 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 <laughs> uh, we, you're writing a whole paragraph. What are we doing? Something tells me that she didn't write it. She just <laughs> copy pasted it. <laughs> Anyway, whatever you want to do, don't write a whole, don't write a whole paragraph, man. Keep it to a sentence. 
Yeah. Keep it to a sentence. You you you're making it too too complex at that moment. As yeah. soon as you write two sentences, man, drop it. Guys, let us know your thoughts and opinions. Don't also don't forget to read the show by pressing the like button. Follow us on other socials. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and hit the notification icon so you stay up to date when we drop new videos. With that being said, KR, that was it for the Reddit segment. Yes, yes. The second part of this show, we've decided to 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 continue the Dirk story because there's a lot of things we still need to cover. Um, so the second part is inside the Lord Dirk's arrest. So how did it went down? First of all, they got according to the YouTube and the and all these blogs and the the X the X pages. It was OTF Jam who wore wires. OTF Jam. And there is also a, a video of OTF Jam talking about Dirk and how he helped him after his sentencing. Because as you can see here, it says OTF Jam served... 12 years sentence too before that. So here is, it, here is he talking about that whole situation. Fair use. You just came home uh, not too long ago, like when you come home. So I've been home a little bit over here. Yeah. Okay. A little bit over here. Yeah. 12 years flat. 12 years. Like right, 12 years. Did my time. Ain't told him nobody. Right. Ain't no fool shit on my name. Now I'm back. <laughs> I'm living in life. I never thought I'd live. You know? That's it. Yeah, yeah, but like, if you can't talk about it, like, uh, why did you have to sit down for 12? I went to jail for attempt. Okay. Attempt murder. It was more than that, but shit, that's what I did my time for. Okay. Attempt. You know? Street shit. Yeah. But shit, like, like, how did you even get linked in with uh, this OTF period? That yeah, shit. You know, yeah. 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 <laughs> this ain't no people I met. No, I knew them. Like I'm saying, this was before jail. I don't know. Dirk was right. Yeah, can you freeze yeah. it? Uh, yeah. Just and go a little bit back. Just when when you can see the guy sitting at the next to him. Yeah. The guy in great in the great, yeah. And, and just play it a bit and I'll tell you when to stop. <laughs> yeah, stop it. Very there, there. Yeah. So I don't know how difficult it is for people to understand. Because they, they cover up their faces. Yeah. But usually the feds have all the people line up and they know exactly what tattoo oh, yeah, you yeah. have that you, yeah, they know what yeah. what what um you, they know your length your weight your your watches you wear they know it so you might be covered up but they can still identify <laughs> that is true that yeah. is true with all with all the the uh the tattoos you have they they i think they they have you uh, take a picture of all tattoos right when you, yeah, when you so, get incarcerated. I, I, well, I, they didn't do it to me last time, so I don't know. But uh, <laughs> let me tell you this. <laughs> you're asking me questions as if I know, man. I don't know these things. I don't do criminal you're, you're, law. You're a lawyer. You're I'm a lawyer. A, maybe you've it. heard about it. I don't do criminal law. Okay, maybe yeah, I know yeah, more I than you. Yeah, maybe yeah, I know I, more I have, than you. Yeah, yeah I have heard. I've been it. dodging heard. jail since I was a little boy. Yeah, but even if they don't, let's say, even if they've never caught you, and oftentimes they've caught these guys, you know? Yeah. But you put, the, you put the marks on you, but then people would be able, will be able to identify you based on your marks. So, yeah. Um, I say all that to say, if you look at the American gangster, Frank Lucas, and what I heard, uh, from what I heard, uh, or at least according to Rick Ross, not the rapper, not Ricky Rose, but the original Rick Ross. He said that he was way bigger than, than Frank Lucas. But Frank Lucas' philosophy was always to stay low-key. 
Yep. When that the problem arose when he started getting cocky, thinking that no one can do can do anything to him. So this is in the movie, right? But then he was so cocky that he said, you know, I, I take care of all the people in these streets. And he unalived someone in the middle of the street. No one talked immediately, but someone will talk. The real moment when they got him was when his wife started saying, You don't buy me anything, anything, anything. You don't take care, you don't take care of me. Uh, you have all this money, you don't love me. And he decided to please his wife by buying the expensive coat. And that's how, in the movie, it's a movie, they started no, that following. Was true. They, that was yeah. true. And reality as well. Yeah, yeah. They so caught him because it, of that that coat, that chinchilla coat that he wore yeah. with his wife that night. And then they were like, hey, who is that guy? Who is he? And they started investigating and found out that he was Frank Lucas. So why are these people people going giving interviews and giving interviews i never understood that rj i never understood that. either <clears throat> either you're in the game or you're out you cannot be in the middle there's there's no way you can be a functioning and, and i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not trying to glorify the life but just as a logical way of thinking you cannot be doing illegal stuff and giving interviews about that same illegal stuff you're doing. Yeah. Or, or might have done in the past. Or might do in the future. Of course, you're not going to say you're going to do it. But if you're hanging around certain people, the cops will think you're probably going to fall in the same situation you've already fallen in the past that's how they catch a lot of these guys because they know there is such thing as a repeated offender they know 80 percent of the time these guys go back to the same hood they came from they get in the same situation meet the same people get tempted by the same devils yeah now and and, and there's a difference so when you see, for example, Lil Durk or, or, or King Von, um, so late King Von, and all these other rappers, in the situation, and I think I saw a clip a couple of days ago of Vlad, DJ Vlad, saying that about 20, 19 or 21 people he interviewed have been, uh, are not here anymore. And only one of them died of natural causes, I believe. Something. No, no. All of them got unalived. Only one got knifed down instead of... Uh, getting the uh, blicky, so Jeez. when I thought that he at least at least he could have uh, died of a blood clot or something, but no, he also got got stuff. But the point is this: so when the, the you had Ice Cube who was rapping, but he was actually a college graduate. Okay, and you understand? Yeah, an architect. So, <laughs> so you know, but then you have people who are really about that life, and when they yeah. interview you. Let's say if they interview about your music, let's say they can be the the the, the just, just like for example R. Kelly as well and all these other artists who are now being um who have been convicted or are being accused of doing immoral things or illegal things. When they go up, when they go to an interview or a podcast, they talk about their music and their lives. They don't talk about what they did that could possibly get them in trouble. But these rappers do. Yeah, that's amazing. And, and the they people talk about the beat. And the people ask them, the, the, the interviewers ask them as well these questions. Because if it were me, for example, on a platform, I wouldn't ask the question. I would just ask, okay, you're dropping music. How's it going? You're going on tour, you know? But they're really yeah. asking the questions and they're getting getting answers to it. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. And if you think about it, um, I never understood why, why why you would go on a platform 
and talk about, first of all, I never understood why you would, if you were about that life, why you would rap about it. This is, that's the amazing stupidity of drill rap. Where you, con you do a crime and then you think, hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rap about it. So there is evidence out there that you're linked to that crime. I never understood that. I never understood that. And I think, I think this is maybe a, a level of stupidity. Maybe kids being kids. But as a kid, I even know that you couldn't, you couldn't do that. You couldn't be this stupid. If you steal, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be talking. You shouldn't be up on the track and talk about what you stole. Because everyone's going to know you, you, you steal. That you're the one who stole the, that money or stole whatever you did to steal. So they, I, I, I don't understand. So going back to the OTF stuff, right? So how did the, the, how did the feds caught up to Dirk? This is what Dirk did, RJ. He initially booked a flight to Dubai. Then he booked, so I'm talking about regular flights, so not private jet. He then booked a flight to Switzerland, Switzerland. Then he booked a flight, and that's private, from Miami Airport to Italy. They caught him. on the corner of the private airport, heading towards the airplane. So now what I don't understand is why are you booking flights within the US? And uh, this is the logical thing I start thinking, right? First of all, if you, you're booking flights, you hand off, you, you hand off your, your passport information and what you would guess is that usually when you hand over your passport information, they, they need to log you in as the person who's going to fly. So they know you're going to take a, a flight. You're beca you become a flight risk. You're already basically, you're, you're ringing the bell, telling them, hey, guys, I'm trying to flee. Be on alert. What they did, they, they, went, they went to the judge, got the arrest warrant, and then arrested them at the corner of the... Uh... I don't understand why he did what he did. Because there's two things. When the feds are coming, you have two choices. You run, run very hard, or you sit back, eat a steak, invite some girls to the hotel, enjoy your last night. And when they knock on that door, I don't have the knock. It's coming back, guys. The knock is coming back. When they knock at the door, you open the door and tell them, hey, guys, here I am. Because there, if you run, you should run the right way, not through the airport. It's crazy. Why don't you get a boat, hire someone, cash only, a boat, you go to Bahamas, there you catch the flight. Or you go to Cuba, you have the, 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 uh, the private plane land there. I don't understand. I'm not saying that's how you should do it, but please, uh, 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 this is like this is like child's play to me. RJ. Yeah. Um, you said a couple of things. Yeah, you said many things. I guess what I would like to piggyback back on is why he didn't take a flight, why he booked a flight in country. Um. If you're booking two flights and then a third one, the third only the third one is private, we know on which <laughs> flight you'll be going. <laughs> what are we talking about? Yeah, that's what crazy. are we talking about? That's crazy. And as you said, now that he's a flight risk, they have proof that he's a flight risk. 
Yeah. And so it's going to be easier to keep him locked up because he's a flight No risk. bail! No yeah. bail! Yeah. My God. If, I think you, it's, if it's, you run, this is the thing. If you run, you should do it correctly. Don't do it the stupid way. You want to say something? No, I, but it's the... The people who are who have a lot of influence in every country are oftentimes not known. You don't know their names. No, you don't. You only know the names. You only know, for example, the, we know one name because he has a couple of, uh, well, he has a lot of media power. And most people, so what people usually do is they direct all energy to him. You know, they, all their comments to him. But he's just the one that you know. People who are successful in life oftentimes can think in steps. They can think ahead. They can think scenarios. You can have a degree, you can have all types of degrees, but if you don't have a vision of where you want to be, if you can, if you only know what you want now, that's, that's what important, not what, you know, you don't have a vision, you don't think, then it's going to be a problem. The people who are in charge or are in power, they have an exit, exit plan. That's a good one. They have an exit. They have an exit. You have the to have exit an exit. Plan. If you did wrong, you have to have an exit plan at all times. Even if you do right, Kia, you need to do an exit. You, you need to have an exit plan. So I'll just give you an example. You are you have invested in the U.S. You have a lot of real estate properties in the U.S. Something can happen one day that might cause you to lose everything. A certain law can be invoked and you're, you're done. <laughs> done for. So, yeah. so you that's need why certain to have, people, yeah. No, that's that's why certain people flee Cuba and flee Venezuela. Yeah. So you need to have it. You need to have an exit plan. So so even if you're doing everything right, right? So it's sometimes it's just good. Okay, if something happens, what will happen? Is there a leak in the in the area? Can I swim? Are they? <laughs> do I have a boat? Uh, I have a car. If something happens, what would be the route that I will take to get where I want to go? Go to, and what if that area is? You know what I'm saying? You so if you're thinking plan. about so if you're thinking about unaliving someone directly or that. indirectly and so and just to be clear he's not been convicted these are all suspicions nothing is clear these are all suspicions but the fact that you try to leave the country is now going to be used against you yep to say he can get bill because he's a flight risk yeah. And it's this very unusual to have three flights. Because if it was only the one and you can prove, no, I have a concert in Italy. Yeah. What? <laughs> I have three concerts simultaneously. One in, one in Dubai, one in Italy, and one in Switzerland. I chose the one for Switzerland. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is bad. This is bad. Like you said, you have to have an exit plan. If you definitely let's say if you're a let's say if you're a kingpin, you should have an exit plan. And and this is how an exit plan could be, right? So, like I said, you can take the, the private jet from a different island. What I do know, for example, is that all, there are people out there that go by jet ski from Miami to Bahamas all the time. If you have a powerful jet ski, you can make it. It's not that hard. So it's not like you have to own a boat or something. You just have to, you, you have to leave early. It's like a three or four hours with a jet ski. 
maybe right now is not the right time with all these hurricanes and then uh, <laughs> but, but you have you to know. hey you have to make a choice mm -hmm. like i said either you take the stake or you run the right way it's it's There's either a, or there, there is a third option KR. you can also hang out <laughs> and let them find you <laughs> island don't, boy style. don't dangle don't, don't don't dangle too much can play don't hang. dangle too much <laughs> hangman hey but but uh, to, to go so so this is another thing as well <laughs> playing hangman one thing for sure now we know if you're getting the key that means that hangman is waiting for you he got the key to the city not in less than a week ago so fair you my daughter read it. she she she's a nurse and she's been doing a bunch of stuff in the community so we're gonna let we're gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna pass the, the torch on behalf of the village of bellwood we are honored to present this key to the city to dirk banks neighborhood heroes this key is a token of our pre appreciation for your collaboration and partnership thank you Yo. <laughs> Two keys to the city. KR. Yes. I want you to go back to the moment where they showed you. I, I have I don't know why I these things. I know you're a things. lawyer. What the what whip which part? Uh can you can you show the yeah there? Okay. No, no, go back, go back. When he's showing it, when he's showing it. Fair use. Yeah, there, there, there. Stop it. On which side do you think that he'll be holding the key? Right? What do you mean? The, maybe it's me and maybe I'm biased, but I'm seeing a blicky on that plaque. Oh my God. Yo. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Damn. Oh man. I'm seeing a. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a blicky anyway. on that plaque. That's how you look at it. It's a Rorschach, right? It's a Rorschach test. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, exactly, the Rorschach yeah. test will tell you everything you need to know about someone's mind. But yeah, he got two keys, man. Look at this. Upstanding citizen. So before we close out, we want to make sure this is reciprocal. So can we keep both mayors and Dirk up front? We want to thank both villages for your support and for your partnership. With all the amazing work that Dirk Banks has done over these years, he realizes that none of this can be done without each and every one of your support. So we wanna take this time right now on behalf of Dirk Banks to recognize both of you mayors with our Kaleidoscope partnership through Neighborhood Heroes on behalf of- Do you know, Ajay, that they used because Dirk was trying to remove himself from the activities lately. Yeah. Uh, creating scholarships, getting these things done. They used that in the indictment. They said he was trying to remove himself from the street activities. <laughs> so they were really looking at his moves. And they thought this is the right time to catch him because he's trying to separate himself, himself from the street. It was too late. He realized, he may have realized that what he did was wrong a bit too late. Yeah, you also you always think that you have one more, right? Just one this more. one. I have one more Emmy, one more hit. Yeah. Just this this one and then I'll stop. Yeah. Yeah. 
That might be your last one. It's crazy because if you, I don't know if you remember, uh, last year we talked about OTF member snitching. And you ask yourself, hey, I don't remember. Maybe you don't. I don't I'm not sure. So this is a video we did last year about OTF. Yo, look at Fair that. Fair use. Does, man. Yeah. Different times, different colors. We don't want to say bad lighting, but yeah, it was <laughs> bad lighting. Fair use. Let's take a look what uh, what happened here. So he was ready to cooperate. Uh, I'm fair using myself. What the heck? <laughs> Wait, with the police. Even before he gets I'm to the... Oh, me, have... uh, the cop was trying to stop him. <laughs> Are you sure you want to work with us? Wait a second. Wait a second. We have to bring you to the station before you can tell. Don't tell. Don't tell yet. We have to, you have, we have to offer you a, a, a KFC, a bucket of KFC for you to tell. You shouldn't tell right now in the, don't, don't give, don't give away your leverage, boy. Okay, let's, okay, let's, uh, cannot increase the, can I, can zoom in a little bit, can zoom in a little bit. So this guy got caught by the police. That's. Listen what he has to say to the police. I had a gun in the console drill. I'm not on bond for a gun, gang. I can't afford to go back. I'll tell you. Hey, tell hey, you. Hey. Come on. Okay. I'm just, okay. Look, I'll tell you what, what's what. Okay. I can get you, bro. I can get you whoever you need off of this alley. Okay. Just so you know, everything's being recorded. I don't care about that shit. That for you, that helps you because then you're willing to work the community on getting shit off the street. But look, you gonna work with me? Just I will work time. with you. And look, I swear to God, look. I but like, I need look. to go over there before. I right, look, look, look. I'm gonna tell you what kind of gun. Okay. Be one hundred with me. Some boy in jail. Okay, I help you out now to get out. But I can't. If, to... if you help us hey, out, I'm not saying you want to talk about it. It has to right be in the station. It cannot be out See, here. Bro, I don't care. I'm saying I got to be able to see. Yeah. And everything. But bro, like we could do that shit later. Like. If I go in right now, they don't know something. I went to jail and I'm out of bun for a pipe. I can't even get the car out, bro. It's stuck. Fuck that car. <laughs> bro, for real, bro. Oh my. Uh, hang on. The car's here. Hang on. I'm going to keep it real. I had a gun in the car. So, drill. so he was. So we were talking about OTF members snitching a year ago. So this is something that's happening a lot in a gang. Mute. You're muted. People say snitches get stitches, but these gangsters snitch all the time. All the time. All the, all time. the time. One last thing I want to say, and then we're going to close this section. Hat snitch. Hat snitch had something to say about this situation. Fair use. Now I can fair use it. No, he's a teller. He's not a snitcher. He's a teller. Oh, yeah, he's a teller. He's a, he's a concerned citizen. Ain't nobody laughing at dirt like they were laughing at me when I went to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> so ain't nobody laughing at dirt. Now it ain't funny. Now your favorite rapper go to jail and look like he got a no bond like me. <laughs> that boy got a federal no bond. Ooh, I bet that nigga ass hold and closed up. He got a burp to pass that. <laughs> he can't even fart out his ass. I know, I know the feeling. Boy, they get your ass and they put a hole on you. Boy, nigga booty be tight and the motherfucker sitting on that bench. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Now, all y'all who said my time coming for saying King Von, saying fuck King Von, all his time coming, they go get him. Drake time came for saying fuck Tuka, or uh, this is common. I, I don't know. Y'all be so hypocritical when it comes to your favorite rappers. I don't even know. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, boys and girls. Say, let's make fun of dirt like y'all made fun of me. Better when y'all thought I got shot. Look like that boy has in trouble. <laughs> Salute the little Tim. Um, the demon stay up. The I bet he going to up. PC. Them California niggas try to extort it. One thing we know about California, the Crips and Bloods rule. GD, BD, on 4 them, 
they ain't got no say so nowhere <laughs> but when they write a letter to somebody but in the california prison system cuz and blood run everything and pyru that gdbd uh phonem it's gonna be hard on his ass because they're gonna be trying to extort him because they know he got money he might have to pay for a little protection you know what he might be all right because he joined asalaam alaikum what think about it asalaam alaikum they look out for each other <laughs> say say boy it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood boy i'm riding through oak cliff right now boy it's a beautiful i'm gonna ride by where mo3 got killed at here in a minute let me find me a good little dirt song to play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me find me a... Uh, good morning, boy and girl. <laughs> yeah, I need to start with here. Otherwise, we get a copyright restriction. Hey, man. Hey, man. He's being him, as usual. Charleston White. RJ. Charleston is a very, I just, yeah. you really test them. He really tests them. He really pushes it. But at the same time, uh, I think when someone can keep talking like that and nothing's happening to him, but everything's happening to you, you know, that's, that only gives him more credibility and leverage but i hope kr and i really hope this because i don't like so i'm not about the, the the that life i don't like people getting gotten i don't so it's not mm -hmm. like um even though it's a rapper and, and you know i don't like to say yeah he had it coming or he deserved it i don't like because uh, we're talking about lives of people i don't yeah I, I just hope for 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 his sake that he that nothing happens to him because you just need one ignorant dude to step up and do something and he's done forever you know so yeah that this is, is the true. brand this is what he chose this is what charleston chose to build his brand on yeah let's hope uh, this is what it yeah. is it is what it is, yeah. Guys, let us know in the comments what you think. Do you think that Charleston is right? Do you think maybe that Dirk was just too dumb to have a plan, an escape plan? Do you think he will get out? Can he beat the charges? Because he's facing life. He's facing life, so... They, they might stick more bodies on him after this. They'll try to stick multiple bodies. He'll, do, he'll be doing multiple lives, life sentences. So now you, you slid for Vaughn, but now you lose your own life. The, the crazy part is, is that, the, like I said in the first part, the internet was pushing him, saying, when are you going to slide for Vaughn, that same internet is telling him now, you dummy. Why would you do this? You had everything in life. This is why you shouldn't listen to the internet. Trolls will be trolling. Trolls will troll. And they'll troll both sides. They'll troll you when you don't do something. And when you do the stupid thing, they'll troll you again. They cannot lose. Let us know in the comments what you think about this whole situation. RJ. Yes, guys. Let us know in the comments what you think about this situation. The best comments or the, the best comment or comments uh, get a chance to be mentioned or highlighted in a future show. So if you have a great comment or a hot take, please let us know in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on different stories where we discuss trending topics and try to explore uncommon lessons from commonplace situations. Thanks for watching. Let's keep the well. Let let me check first if we're gonna keep the conversation going for time's sake. Kr. Yes, one. We have one. We have only one short thought today. That short thought, and we're gonna jump right into it. We always have the short thought where we discuss commonplace situations and trending news. 
So the short thought of today is, is hip hop lame? I'm gonna share the screen. This is Grub's Kitchen. Grub's Kitchen, we have covered them a couple of times already. Great guy, great, great, great insights. This is what he had to say. Fair use. Let me break some down to y'all family about hip hop culture because I grew up in this shit. I remember back in the day when we used to say, man, that shit bad. The old folks used to be like, it's bad. We used to be like, no, bad, like good. Or oh, it's deaf, man, it's deaf. And they'd be like, deaf, You're like deaf mean good. Don't mean good. Notice how we keep saying shit that's bad mean good. You know what I'm saying? We even made the word bitch and nigga good, right? But peep this, take the word lame for a second and the word cool for a second. Now let's break some down. Russell Wilson, we all know is considered a lame, right? Russell Wilson is a Super Bowl winning quarterback that's a millionaire married to a fine ass celebrity entertainer with kids by all by the same woman. We call that lame. But yet, Big Meech is an ex-drug dealer just getting out of prison. And we'll call him cool. We'll call future cool. You see what I mean by the words and how we do words in hip-hop? Oh, boy, we some lost motherfuckers, Jack. I'm too old to think of motherfucker cool that's been on some fuckery. Is he right? Yeah, he has a point there. Now, just to be, just to bring some context, I don't think people are calling Russell Wilson lame because he has a fine, a fine ass wife uh, with kids all from the same woman. I think they're calling him lame because she doesn't have kids only by one man. Um, but that aside, I think that <laughs> just to be fair, we're talking, we're talking. Talking about a little future, right? Uh, but just yeah. to be, uh, but but I do agree with him. I do agree with him um, to the extent that hip hop uh, and goes back to the point I made earlier, right? I grew up listening to hip hop, only hip hop and rap music. Um, and as you grow, you realize that hey, you know, when you were younger, you could appreciate the double entendres and the art, and you can you could forget. You could put aside the the ignorance, but as you grow and you start start building a life, you see more and more that hey, it's not really what are we doing here? Especially if you see how people who are doing uh, negative uh, playing, so people are being pushed in the black community or low frequency people because you have some very great artists like rappers who are are lyrical because rap is an art it should be an art at least right it should be an art uh it, it is an art form should yeah it is an art form and, and and but you see what's being pushed and what's not being pushed um at the end of the day it's about what sells and what they want you what they convince you that sells and they're convincing you that low frequency sells uh, which is understandable because it's easier to be in a low frequency state we are by nature in a low frequency state and you can only Get to a higher frequency state by working towards it. For example, when you wake up, you know that maybe you don't want to work out. Your body is saying you're tired, but you know you have to. Only by pushing yourself will you be able to be in condition. Uh, same goes for food. Same goes for addictions and so on and so forth. So they're pushing this to hip hop. Uh, and we think what is... I agree with that. I think the nuance isn't... I think Russell Wilson is being called lame for a different reason. Uh, he's also being called lame because of the fact that, the, at least from what was said by former teammates, how he treated their, the, the teammates, right? So it's not only because of what he achieved, but it's like the way he goes around to talking to people saying, let's ride. But hey. Yeah, but is that the wrong thing? Because is it I don't outside think, I don't of think... what they, people expect as a black person to act tough all the time? He's just a normal kid who... Two things can be right at the same time, right? Hmm. You can be lame, but still... You can be lame on, in certain aspects, but that doesn't mean that in total... To certain not... people. 
Everyone has their lame parts. Everyone has their petty parts. Everyone has them. You can agree to, and that's what we we forgot forgotten how to do. Where uh, you see it, especially in the U.S., more because of the way the political system is set up, and everything trickles down from that. So it's either this or that. Whereas in other countries, you have like multiple colors, and so you have multiple shades of red, multiple shades of of blue. Uh, you even have green and all other colors, and so maybe you will choose the party that aligns more to your your values, and then in life you on but you learn to accept from an early stage from the top down that there are multiple ways of seeing uh, looking at a place but if you're living in a country where it's either red or white well in this case blue or red and then good or bad bad then it's a it's then that person who's not cool is lame by definition whereas mm -hmm. you can say you know he has certain he might have certain lame aspects but he also has certain good aspects. I always think it's very interesting to see how, how people react to certain things, right? Because, for example, he, he took a good example, that Mitch, big Mitch uh, release. The amount of people who celebrated or congratulated him for his release while he was peddling straight-up drugs in the communities. These are the same people. For example, I'm going to take... <laughs> it's gonna seem like I have a grudge against him, but LeBron James tweeted, Welcome home, Big Mitch. This is the same guy who tries to fight drugs in the communities. What the heck are you doing? We what don't know whether or not Big Mitch, Mitch changed. It doesn't matter if he changed, RJ. He was pushing drugs by a ton through communities. Well, with all the respect, with all the respect, you might have changed. Good for you, but you shouldn't be even welcomed home because you the, the damage you did is not going to weigh against the amount of 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 good you're going to do in the next part of your life. To yeah. be honest, I, I, give, be honest. I give people benefit. You're, of a, the doubt. you're a you're a you're a you're you're you give always people give people the doubt. The doubt. Yes, As you that's know, the difference between you and me. Yeah, I gave I gave uh, John Moran benefit of the doubt the first time. Uh, I'm not giving it the benefit of the doubt a second time, uh, but I do think that people can change. So I, I don't I don't think that it's fair to hold grudges against someone forever. It's not a grudge. But, no, I know, I know, I know. So maybe the, I'm using the word grudge, but uh, okay, let me just say, I don't think it's fair to keep judging someone based on, some, on something they did in the past. But that being said, I need to see what you're doing now in order for me to change my opinion. So uh, what I'm saying, I'm reserving my opinion until, and then again, what's my opinion? We talked about King Von at the beginning. I'm not not King Von. A little Dirk, little Dirk was doing was giving back to the community a lot. He was giving back to the community. So if you only know After that, he part destroyed of it. it. If you know only that part of it, you know you would say, hey. It's a good you know, guy. It, yeah, that, yeah, and so that that's the thing. You have good parts and bad parts. Mobsters, uh, the Italian mob. I mean, they were ruthless, but at the same time, they did a lot of good. They supported a lot of charities. So it's always like, it's oh no, come on, man. They supported a lot of charities, and what's being said as well <laughs> is that, um, and I do believe it more and more. The older I get, because when you're younger, you're more naive, but. So, you need the illegal economy so countries need an illegal economy in order to try to thrive and the more i see how bad things are being pushed that they know will increase negativity in the in the community do you really though yeah i i, I want to push back on that maybe that's not a show because time is running out right now Let's talk about it in another show because I don't believe that. Yeah, the only non-illegal country is the Vatican State. Guys, let us know before. Uh, <laughs> 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 Let's not start talking about that. 
hey guys let, let, let us know in the comments what you think about this 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 is hip-hop lame are we lames are people lame or is this part of the segment lame was lebron bad for welcoming home big meech is big meech should big meech be celebrated for what he did or should he be looked upon and and wait waited whether we should welcoming home welcome him him home Anyway, guys, let us know in the comments. RJ. Yes, guys, let us know in the comments. Uh, best comment will be highlighted. Uh, remember, uh, well, first and foremost, thank you for tuning in. If you're still here with us, we really appreciate your support. Uh, we want to thank you for, uh, yeah, being here, sticking with us, believing in the in the on, in the platform. Every one of you who believe, remember to subscribe. Still, way too many people are subscribed to this channel that are watching. So please don't forget to rate the show by pressing the like button. Follow us on our other socials, and again, subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you stay up to date when we drop new videos. Comment, but keep it healthy. Let's have a healthy conversation in the comment section. And until next time, guys. Peace. peace.